everybody, it's Center Feast on Woods Prairie Ham. This is another day as we are ready to have this one completed up for a second round of the NBA 2K Sports. And I'm back with Clover again for tonight's game. Yes, this matchup is going to be one they're all taking off. It's the OKC Funders, and they're facing out against the Minnesota Timberwolves. This matchup is going to be it. It's a winner go home for both teams. Winner moves on. And as of the moment, we're about to be finding out who can take the lead, move on to face against the Dallas Mavericks. So that'll be all the guys that's going to be hopping in here with one of our fitness moments and find out who's the next one to get ready for the next matchup in the Western Conference Finals. So we already started the air game. Thank you so much for watching for the Boston Celtics versus the Miami Heat. This was the Eastern Conference showdown of the Eastern Conference Finals of the championship game before the final. As you may have already noticed, the Boston Celtics did great for this season, so they are on the start, one nothing over Miami Heat. But well, let's hope that there is a lucky chance out there. I'll see what they can do. The next commentary I will have is Terry Crews, and he's also along with the other commentators, with OJ and Ultra Beats. Standing by, it will be out of the force for tonight's game of this matchup. And we'll see you later for the post-game show after this. So it's that time, folks. Let's bring it on. Enjoy. K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. With a look in between the locker rooms, they are ready for the pre-game show before the game tips off. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews, and we're coming to you live at Target Center in Minneapolis. I'm here with my broadcasting partner, with OJ and Ultra Peaks. The sideline reporter will be the night, nights of the game with Valley Laporte. As right now, this was a key matchup between Mike Conley and Shea Gordix Alexander. It's a better of a matchup, but there might be one that could take it off. You know, the hard feeling about Shea Gordix Alexander, I've been playing it for a lot of his career in this motion. Better takes a nut because he's been really been dominating this all in the performance effort, but hopefully it might be coming in. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what's going on. So this is it. Win or go home between those two, or Bunders, or the Timberwolves. Let's find out who it is. And we start things off here in Minneapolis, all filled and ready to go. Conley will start things over as he's on to Boris Alexander, giving over to Anthony Edwards. The pass over to Conley, the shot, takes it in. That's a first two bucket score for Mike Conley. Just better than take it over. That's what you always need to know for. Mike Conley only needs a better point guard position. After playing with the Utah Jazz a couple of the season before the contract comes in, he knows he had a lot of rights to do it, and I'm hoping that might be a great way to have it all. Here's Carl Anthony Towns right through the middle. The pass over now by the Edwards. The look over again to McDaniels. McDaniels dishes over to Conley. Conley for the steal. Takes it in and that's a number two point bucket score for Mike Conley. The Thunder shall by four. This one ranges in. For the two. Up and over the flow. And this one's no good for the Chamber Gordix Alexander. Here's Rudy Gobert, he will send it over to Conley. Conley swings again to Gobert. For a two, step in range, and it's on Jeff Holmgren. That'll be his first rebound back to Williams. The screen putting in, rejected out. Finding Holmgren, Rudy Gobert on it. The cut in screen, looks into Holmgren, and he takes one in, dunk down. That will be the first one to take its slam dunk position after Gregorius Alexander with the assist. You know, never going to happen now because Shea Gregorius Alexander got to keep that one in there at the right target. It's not what they always do. Don't let them take over if you have needed to. Here's a pass over to Towns. Towns rolls his wide. Bucket wide. That's a first bucket raise for Carl Anthony Towns. The cat delivers 
Sunset, the land drive. Now that's what I used to really see that because I probably have any towns, he's just making this drive in it. Appearance is over to Williams, and that one was a great fucking score in his contact drive. What a great, excellent Houston he has done. Born in from Edison, New Jersey, he's definitely let his father do it in his way in Piscataway High Tech uh, School. But I say that Carl Anthony Towns, he might be the next one to be competing anyway. Sometimes he could be visiting New York City to play against the Knicks. But I think his team, he really likes to be here. The shot good for Carl Anthony Towns. You know what he plays I really like it when they are calling it for abbreviation. Some people like to say Anthony Towns, but we're saying Cat is the name. That's because that's short for it. For all in between, I can really say now, Carl Anthony Towns has been the best. And Rudy Gobert, he's definitely going to be moving too. Here's another one from Holmgren. Oh, what a takeover by Rudy Gobert! And it goes right back to Conley. Stripping the ball out of here was not even an easy clue. You know, Rudy Gobert had to hard that one out there. Got to make the contest out of it to try to stop the defenses. I don't know what's happening, but that's Rudy Gobert. He takes a lot of the carry of the defensive anyway. Edwards for three. Splash down. Right toward the outside of the gap. He has his first three-pointer of the night. It's a 10-2 game. Look how you're playing in Anthony Edwards. If that one knows it's called an Ant-Man, don't let them say it now. Rudy Gobert, two blocks in a row. He's off to Conley, now finding McDaniels. McDaniels with the finish. Slidey. And it's dropped back for McDaniels. Edwards trying to recoup the ball with five minutes left. Edwards gives it over. McDaniels for three. They'll get it back. Rudy Gobert up, takes it in. That one will be his first bucket after a rebound pick. Just a 12-2 start. They're trailing by 10. Timeout ball by OKC Funders with 4.46 to go in the first quarter. Look how they start things up. You know you can hear that crowd now? Because I think they're going to make their way to the next round and head to the conference finals. That's going to be like legit. Every play and effort here, but you don't have to have to tell them what is going on right now. And speaking of the same year, as you always know that Josh Giddy has been playing for one of his professionals of his league, and this one was all of his percentage that he has been doing for a lot of his career offensive moment, and because of his point, he has been playing it and is an Australian player, played in for high school, and now with St. Kevin's College, one that has been playing it before, but 40 NBA drafts are selected for the OKC Funders since 2020. You know, I always say Josh, Josh uh, Giddy. I think he just might be what they are all calling for. Because when you do it, when you're playing it for the real planes and the offense, I can always say now that he's really all into a great op opportunity ranging. He really has a lot of it now. But hey, let's hope that he does get more to improve their goals and the effort. I'd say that this one has turned to be great than ever. right in between for the OKC Funders. The field goal range is just puts up a tie between the Lakers and underneath the surface. They're in third place right now. Talk about that one up there, but this is not what I always can say. Of. Just playing it is not always really easy. But when you're doing it on the way in the easier field goal range, I gotta say the OKC Funders are really are working very hard. Let's hope that they can get a narrow error chance if they do that. The matter missed by Shane Burris Alexander and a rebound was put in for Carl Anthony Towns. He's over now to Gobert. Gobert finds a pass at Edwards. Here's Towns looking for a try. Stepping for two. Makes it in. That's another two for Carl Anthony Towns. He has five points. <laughs> Here's Gordix Alexander on Mike Conley. And a cut. Offensive oh, foul. That goes on the Blenders with a charging. And he has his first personal. Oh, man. I was really certain of that this one keeps it out there. But that is a great call for the ref. It turns it over now to the Timberwolves ball. And now we're ready to see who's going to take it in for the next one. Here's Conley, he starts things over right toward the other side, gives it to Edwards. Edwards flies it over now to Conley. Conley trying to look for an open roof. 
to bounce pass to Gobert. Step backward over Deb Congre. That's a nice risk here for Rudy Gobert. You know, you just don't have to shoot right away for Rudy Gobert. I mean, if he wants to have a chance, I mean, go ahead, hey, just do what you can. First foul called on Minnesota. That will be for Ivy Towns' his first forcible foul and his first team foul. Shea Burdick's Alexander trying to look for a number two to have his free throw range. And this one will be his two shots coming up for OKC Funders and a field trip to the free throw line. You know, you're not playing it when you do smart enough to do that, but that is what they're playing it for. They can't let somebody else start to, like, take them over it. And you're not going to, like, be able to, like, get an increasement because that is a hard way to do this. That goal is never going to leave you, you around longer. First free throw sets in for Shady Gordix Alexander. You know, talk about the difference range here for Shady Gordix Alexander. He's playing it for some of the struggle goals that he has ever done. But that, competition doesn't really happen with the Canadian players and around it and in the globe. You know, it's also known as SGA, but just playing it here for the college of it, and this one was a little bit of a hard strength out there because that is his early career goal in his life. That's what happens if he really wants to like try to like keep it together at all the same time. Here's Conley not finding a dead McDaniels. McDaniels trying to give over again to Edwards. Here's a pass around Giddy. Thanks a try. <laughs> Anthony Edwards with his second bucket. Uh, and a scoring range out there. I usually say that the Timberwolves are just going with the increase man. They're like shooting really well. But don't get uncomfortable if you know that. Here's Dort, the pass over to Hungry, and he makes a try after a door with the assists. Just three minutes left to remain in the first quarter, here's Gobert, the finish, the try, no good, and Dort back the airway. Looks it over, with the, with the try, here's the Gordix Alexander on the outside on McDaniels. Sliding in a shovelboard, gives it over to Dort. Find his shoot. The cut, he's arranged. That floated in, and this will be a narrow bucket for the OKC Funders. He's finally not find a pass to get the towns, and now raises it over to McDaniels. McDaniels gives a pass over, now fighting Edwards. Edwards, the cutting bound. Oh, what a take in! No! It's a foul ball. That's his third bucket. Carl Anthony Towns with the assist. Oh, just don't take the risk of that one. Anthony Edwards just makes a great try. How do you absolutely stop that one? Timeout call by OKC Funders. They're up at 2.08 to go. It's an 18-8. They're up by 10. You just need to let that anybody get over this. And they are really not expecting what they can go with the goals up there. I mean, just don't care about anybody. You really have to like believe that everyone who does it for the best. We're in the early range right now as we're ready to have our next pro next uh next pro matchup as we're ready to see what goes in. If the win puts it in for the Timberwolves, they will be facing against the Dallas Mavericks. If the win puts in for the OKC Thunders, then they will be placing they will be playing against the Dallas Mavericks on the other hand. But this is what the game is, guys, because it's coming in right at this moment. Any other side after the games have been completed already, we'll send you over to NHL for just a couple of an off days here after the NBA is complete. We will send you over to NHL on the other side as we have one of the games in for Battle the matchup, as you will have another one in by. That will be the Toronto Maple Leafs facing against the Carolina Hurricanes. On the other side for the Western Conference, the Canucks battle against the Dallas Stars. It's in between the USA team and the Canadian team. Don't miss that one out, only on Son of Beast. Now there's a new substitution on the court. We're getting ready to find what goes in. As all five players are checked out for the Thunders, and all five players are checked in. Wiggins, Haywood, Williams, Wallace, and Joe are checked in. And the other side, Spotless checked in for Pondy. And Alexander Walker checked in for McDaniels. Anderson's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Reed checked in for Rudy Goldman. McLaughlin starts it up for the three. That goes in and out. That's just too close to call. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but that didn't really change with anybody. I need to be up here right more. 
Wallace with the two pointer. And here's McLaughlin. Under 90 seconds to go in the first quarter. Anderson gets it over to Alexander Walker. Great ball movement here for the Wolves. McLaughlin trying to show it up again to Anderson. Line to shoot. Up and over. Few drop. Makes it in. Anderson with his first bucket. On his bench group. On its way. Just playing it for Carl Anderson. That's what he has been going with. After playing with Memphis Grizzlies. Now he wants to get right into it. Because that is going to keep him on the line. Just do what he do. Get right to the point. Missed again for the OKC Finders. It's under a minute to go. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass over to Reed. On his drive. Oh, what a nice finishing touch ball for Reed. That's what he's been doing it for. Are you kidding me? That was Reed? Man, that's what I have never seen anybody in my life. I don't think it is it, but wow, that is crazy. And here's Wallace with 35 seconds. The three for jump. Triple range, no good. Anderson got another rebound, finds the end Alexander Walker. The cut in, finding Anderson. Another take, makes a try. That's another bucket for Kyle Anderson. And it's another bucket range to put a breakdown on the Thunders. Wallace with 15 seconds to go on a shot clock. 15, 14 seconds for a game clock. Clock at six. Looks to Joe with a shot, and this is a three. And so that ends the first quarter. Minnesota on a streaking start. 24 to 12 is the score. We'll take a quick break, and we'll get back into you shortly after this. Never mess up the Dirty Gobert takeover. That's what you defender does. Just tuning in, we're ready to start the second quarter. Great start for the Wolves, as I have it over to you guys about a day. You know, playing it for just really well. I mean, I was saying that the Wolves are on a streak start. I mean, you gotta give a credit to that. Yeah, I really, I really like that when they play really well with that. That's what they always do. I mean, just keep that one in there. I mean, you gotta give it all the credit down. We start the second quarter as we have new groups in the lineup for the OKC Thunders and the Wolves. The Gordix Alexander is with Giddy. Then it's Longway with Blue Blitz Store. And Williams right toward the right side. And for the Wolves, we have his McDaniels, along with Alexander Walker, Carl Anthony Towns, and he's also with Monte Morris. And Nas Reed in the center. Look again to McDaniels. Looks it over. Here's Morris. Hasn't scored yet for each of the bench points, but he wants to see what he can do. And there's a loose ball personal foul on Reed. That would be his first personal foul. Now a new line group as right now Rudy Gobert will be checking back on the court for Nas Reed. That's his first personal foul. Just don't play what you do for it. Nas Reed just had a little bit of a tightness on the angle, but they don't really get enough to that point. Got to play some a little bit of a communication, a stronger way to do this. I mean, that's what you got to do. Keep it in there. Another miss by OKC Thunders. Now to take over. Here's another pass. So we get to Morris. Morris with a drive. That's a strong D for G. Gordix Alexander. He passed a bit at a mark in a second. Now here's Giddy. Move around the ball, now finding Williams. Williams with a drive. Makes it in. That's an open look. And makes a finish. They're down by 10. Williams with his first bucket of his appearances in Game 7. Here's Monte Boris. Gives it again to Carl Anthony Towns. Gives it over. Find Rudy Gobert. Over Holmgren. And makes his shot. That's Rudy Gobert with a second bucket. Under 6.30 to go in a second. It's a 26-14 game. And another drive. Puts it up, and the rebound will put in for Chet Holmgren. He would have a lot of abyssing bucket to the range. He's just had that come back. Yeah, I mean, no, no hard feelings with uh, Chet Holmgren, and that's what he was really doing. Just trying to keep that in there, but that is what I was really hoping it for. They can't leave that marking open like or not. Here's McDaniels. The shot and over. Ball's tipped, and he will leave 
keep it a backcourt violation, couldn't handle the ball, and this one turns it over to the Thunder's ball. Well, I guess that it didn't really happen with the last 10 games. This was for Anthony Towns' career setup. I've played it for over four. I mean, they really are expecting of what's going on. They've got to get right into it. There's a shot. Williams up. Makes it in. This is from Here's Morris with the ball. Trying to pass to Towns. Towns trying to give over again. Right back to Alexander Walker. Walker tries to give over to McDaniels. He looks to Monte Morris for the shot. And he takes it in. That's a first bucket for Monte Morris. They are back by 10. Just playing it for Monte Morris after the Wizards. I say that Monte Morris is really like keeping an eye on it. And a shot, and makes a try. No deflection here. Deflection for Rudy Gobert. That's Alexander with number six. And Monte Morris will take a timeout with 5.11 to go. Looks like they're pushing their way back down by eight. Well, they can't leave that open now. They've got to like try to make another way to do this. We're coming down to the end of the first half, so we'll have a quick break with nearing a five-minute mark. We'll be right with you shortly, 28 to 20. New changes here as we're right now. There's some couple of players here, and we take a look at the Western Conference standings. This was a little bit of the hard ways to take. In between the OKC and Minnesota, it's a tight race. Well, you don't have to worry about that one here. I know it's not really easy for them, but don't take a risk of it seriously because they're not really in pace enough to get it right from here. And you know, I was able to say what's going on because in Minnesota, I'm really trying to work it off. And how hard that can't be leading that off to it and, and famously to anybody, that needs to be another way to get the food. Shade of Gordon's Alexander with the dunk after Josh Giddy with the assist. It's a 30 22 game. Oh, uh, looks like they're coming down already. I don't know what's going to keep on going. Towns, what a drive, and he has seven points in this game. It's a 32 22 game. Shake at Gordy Alexander finding Jay Williams. And to it, here comes the pressure. A great rebound put in for McDaniels. That's got another rebound, honey, Alexander Walker. Big rebounds here, not always the takeable because that is a lot of great uh, great percentage to put a rebound in. And I don't know they would say it anyway, but that is really keeping alive out there for a longer way to get through. It's just kind of a hard way to get it done that straight, but I think a little bit of connection range might be the rules with a better situation. Gonna keep it going now, or are we gonna do it? Josh Giddy bounce pass to Holmgren. The three-pointer misses. Towns with a rebound. That's his second of the night. And he now finds it again. Alexander Walker. The pass over. Now finding Conley. Conley with a drive. Misses the target. And Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Here's McDaniels now finding to get to Towns. Bounce pass again to Gobert. The pass over. The three for Towns. Buries it. And it's knocked out of here. Off the rim, and it goes back to John Williams. With a shot, and he's caught red-handed. That's Carl Anthony Towns' second personal foul. Number team foul for the Wolves. Oh, no. I was not really happy with that. But Carl Anthony Towns, you know, doesn't really happen what they're expecting now. They can't leave it going. Jalen Williams at the free throw line shooting two with 3.19 to go. The scoring breakdown was not always easy enough, but that just took too many attempts to get there. Yeah, you just don't have to keep on going in now. Like, you don't take enough credit to them, you don't say now, you don't say no. And a free throw makes it in for Williams. And that's what happens now, because that foul gives it over to Carl Anthony Towns. He would have swatted away, just like Rudy Gobert does. Three players checked off the court, and three players checked on the court, as Hayward, Williams, and Wallace are checked in. It's the free throw. Three fifteen left to go in the first half of the game. Coming up will be the halftime show as we have Ernie Johnson along with Penny the Jet Smith. And it's Shag O'Neal on the other side. That'll be all games here coming up after this. Layup makes it in for Nicole Alexander Walker. 
Got another buckets here in the range. I just really have to tell you now that, that Alexander Walker really had it coming down. And a three-pointer makes it in for Shane Gordon's Alexander. Under three minutes to go. Still trying to get there in time. The pass up right now finding Rudy Gobert. Here's a cut, the drive, and he's fouled. Williams with his first personal foul. Reporter for David Aldridge as this one has coming in to make this a live special again. Chris Finch trying to get Rudy Gobert and Mike Conley to never give away giving the work for the Utah Jacks. But that doesn't really happen because the Thunders are really trying to maintain it again. There's no other words that he could definitely try to like stop him out or knock it out of here for good. Sometimes it just got in through it. They need to keep on going at the right pace. And right pace doesn't mean what they really need to do. They've got to have it up a stronger way to get through. Play hard, play strong. Gobert makes the first free throw. And another new substitution as Williams is checked in for Jalen Williams. There's two right now, and now there's three for Williamses. And as for the Wolves, they will have Towns and Reed will be checking in. And, and it's Anthony Edwards checking in for uh, Alexander Walker and Anderson checking in on the court for McDaniels. Second free throw good for Rudy Gobert. So once again, halftime show is coming up after the first half is complete. Here's Gordon Hayward trying to shuffle around a bit. Outside is Williams. The pass over to Wallace. Just six to shoot. And a drive with the shot. Misses the target outside. And here's Anderson. He will have it over now, finding it again to Conley. Conley tries to give it over to Anderson. Anderson moving around a bit, finding Reed. Cutting back. And makes a drive. Nice Reed with another bucket. That's four points. And it's Anderson with the assist. Just gotta take the whole Doss Reed, what do you expect to do? Play that hard? I don't think so. You don't have to mess it up on a defender. And an offensive bounce called on Shane Gordon's Alexander. Turns it over to the Wolves ball. And as you pull over this season, this was not what he was expecting. It. Does this happen for Shane Gordon's Alexander for this season, guys? Not even exactly. I wouldn't say Shane Gordon's Alexander hasn't really just gotten a lot of his personal perspective way. But he's really like trying to get it all done. I mean, that finishing, it's not always easy when you get that in there straight. But keep in mind, though, you're not going to get that one in successfully. Here's Edwards for the two, makes it in. That's a never puppy for the Wolves. It's a 42 27 game, and we pass the 90 second mark in the first half. The Gordon's Alexander up and away, and he will make a slam and dunk down. This one stops the ball, and it was only 42 29 in the game. Here's Mike Conley. Finds it over to get it, Gobert. Looks it over now to Conley. Conley trying to get over again to Anderson. Anderson, the cut for two. And he makes another bucket in. Anderson's got six points in this game. We're going to remain it up. And here's Shane Gregory Talented. The pass over to Gayward. Again to Williams. Looks it over to Williams. Pressuring on three. The pass over. Williams for three. Not on a miss by OKC Thunders. Just 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Off to Anderson to Edwards. To Reed. Looks for a cut for Anderson. Up and away. Makes the go in. Another bucket for the Wolves. And the foul's called on the OKC Thunders. Count the bucket and one. What an excellent stoppage runner runnage. A great cutting for Anderson. Got a great back of the iron board. Now for the next substitution as McLaughlin's check in for the Timberwolves. As Mike Conley saw on the bench. One shot coming up here for Anderson. And it's Monte Morris checking in. Anderson only takes two. Now he rolls back again to Joe. Joe trying to get into it. The pass over to Ant Williams for three. He got that one in time. And just coming down to the end of the first half. 
15 seconds remaining as McLaughlin's on the court, ready to show how it's done. And we have a foul called on us, Reed. That kind of just turned it over. Oh, they just did not like the call, actually. They really hated it, but I don't know why he's complaining about that, but they don't really like it. Last chance, a win for the two, and a block by Anderson! That's the end of the first half, 46 to 32. Great start here on the ramp pitch here, and it's going to be a hard one to keep it going. We're all going to keep going now, play hard. The chance now to Allie LaForce, here she is. Correction, David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Carl Anthony Towns, an impressive first half and a nice start for you guys. How did that happen? I mean, yeah, we, just, we had some great days of practice, and the rest of the half, too, got some days off. Got the spring in your step again. Thanks, Carl Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. Stick around. Third quarter underway soon. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson, uh, Kenny and Jeff Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, it means the world, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was all about Minnesota as the game got going, displaying the force of a tidal wave and some excellent offensive and defensive possessions. They surged their way to a 14-2 start. Looking at the scoring breakdown, they ended up going wire to wire in the first quarter, never once. Then in quarter number two, they actually increased their intensity to pull further out in front, finishing with a double-digit advantage at the half. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? They gave a lot out of their bench. A lot. For the most part, opponents game plan is to take away the start. But then, when your second unit comes in and plays with this type of intensity and torches the net, you created a whole new problem for them. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. Yes, their defense has put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field goal percentage they did a lot. No, that's not going to cut it, man. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in for the second half, we welcome you back at Target Center for this game seven of the night. When you call what happened now, I always say that did turn to be great for Anthony Reed, the Ant-Man, with nine points, one rebound, and two assists. You know it's amazing now because that he played for the part of the team in Georgia called the Bulldogs. That might be what his concern is. I say that it happened to be a 2020 NBA drop. I gotta believe it on him. You have to impress to anyone. And we start things up for Minnesota. Mike Collins with Anthony Edwards. Then it's Anderson with McDaniels. And it's Towns right toward point four. The other side for the Thunders we have an across is Williams. Then we have his across his door. John Skinny right toward a shooting guard. The Gordon's Alexander in point guard and General Grant in the center. Towns. Looks it over, around home ground, no foul given, as Clowns with another bucket. He sets 11 points in the game in Game 7. You know, I don't really have to recall that one from every time. What a way to make that drive out of it. And it twists it around as Williams with another two-pointer. Great pass here for the Thunders as now the Conley's trying to get back into it. They want to extend it again. Here's Towns from the outside. Trying to watch the cut. Looks again to Conley. Conley gives it over pass again to Towns. Looking it over. Now he gives it over to Anderson to make it in. Step up for two, and it rolls in and out. Williams, on his cutting bound, trying to look for a drive in. A shot, and it just misses again. Williams got it back, and this time he just did not see how the ball got loose already. Well, take a look at that, because you really got to watch that ball come in there. You can't really play it like that. I mean, what is the, what is the connection in there? They can't even believe it, what's going on. And we're for two. Dropping in with a rebound, and it's now back to Towns. Towns 
Husky is over again to Edwards. The cut in with a drive, up and away, he makes it in. That's 11 points for Anthony Edwards, just 6 10 to go. Now I can feel what's going to happen now. You don't have to worry about this, I can't believe it. Giddy for the outside, trying to look for any tappers. In the zone, gives it out to Holmgren for three, and it misses again. McDaniels gives again to Edwards. Finds it again to Conley. Conley gives again to Edwards and over to Towns. Looks it over again, trying to give out to Conley. Conley stepped over the two and misses again. Another miss for Minnesota Wolves. They'll just keep on coming back again. And Giddy makes a drive. You know, it's just what nobody can see. I've never seen it like this. I was really, really unhappy with that. I don't really bet, and nobody is really expecting what's coming in now. They are really are trying to let somebody get out of here, and that's no one else's idea. They can't leave that mark open. Now the pass over again to Edwards. For a two, bring it in. That's another bucket in for Edwards. He's got 13 points in the game with five minutes left. Get open on Anderson. Pass to Giddy. On a shot. Great D by Edwards, but Giddy takes a reverse drive and it goes back down by 10. Timberwolves lead by 10. Over now to Anderson. Gives it over to McDaniels. Conley wants to try to move, move, move here on the next format. Off to Anderson. And a shot counts it in. Anderson with 10 points. And it's Conley with the assist. Just keep on playing what you have to do for Mike Conley. You got to give a good pass off. That's really a great communication. They really have to believe on that. And a drive up again for Dorn. Another bucket is great. It's a 54 44 game. Looks over to Anthony Edwards. They cut it right around again. And what a shot for Edwards. That's 15 points. You don't have to worry what they get to, but that kind of play, I was sick of it, it was terrific. Time out call by OKC Funders with under four minutes to go in the third. They're ready to hustle things up here, and man, the Wolves are just crushing them. I think they're ready to be, be playing against the next team, the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, well, let's see if they can get their proof. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, Movement that Inspires. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T, connecting changes everything. Some new changes for the OKC Blunders and for the Wolves. Now this time, as Bryant coming back on the court, will be Williams, number six, and it's Wallace with him too. Oh, go back do it again! He's back on the court for Anderson, and now he has it over to get the Towns. You know, I just don't say what Gobert had done. That really is blocking everything. That shot is just like, what do you do, Gobert? You really trying to make a mess over it? I don't even appreciate that. And Gobert makes a drop. That's 10 points in this game, and he's just got four blocks in this game. Oh, just give him a great play. I say Rudy Gobert is really well. Keep that tremendous out of him. I mean, wow. Williams, from the outside of the wing, and a three for Giddy. That makes it in. And this one this goes back with a 58 to 47. Here's Conley, decided to give it over to Anthony Edwards. Here's an air cut, the trout, and he does it again. That's 17 points for Anthony Edwards. And Conley with the assist. Josh Giddy on Edwards. Finding Holmgren on outside again to Wallace. Conley on it now. Door for three. And an angle to enter the triple range. It's a 60-50 game. 
just play what you can do for now. Because that one is giving a lot of great passing over and under. Don't have a lot of much time to get through it, but that needs to do the right way to get through it. And Towns right toward the corner. The pass back to Rudy Gobert. And Gobert decided to give it a screen. Here's a Conley. A finish look. A two. And that one gets out of the way. Conley has six points. That's his third bucket. You don't have to explain what Mike Conley's been doing here. He's really like getting things out of the way. That's a heavy contest, Sean. I can't even believe what's going to happen like that. Reporter for David Aldridge, as Ray at this moment, Carl Anthony Towns is trying to let them get right into, into work. You know, this is what he has a lot of quotes to say. Between the funders and I, I have a lot of range in here. This is what my team really needs to be doing. It's not a courtesy when you take. You've got to take a lot of time and anyway, you get through it. I have been dominating for this game more than five years of a dedication. It's not what I always think of, but that was calling me a superstar player, let him be a work on top on range. We see the block already, that's fifth, that's his fifth block of the game. Rudy Gobert decided to give it to Towns. Towns in the full zone makes it in. Towns showing that flex off and what a tip for Rudy Gobert. Timeout call by OKC. Just a minute and 12 to go. They don't have to explain now, but they really have been leaving that out. Don't take it anywhere. And for the next game that's happening here underway, we've got the Celtics facing against the Miami Heat. That will be the next part of the game that it will be tomorrow night's game. And then for the next day, we will have another day. And I think the Minnesota Wolves are going to be playing up against the Dallas Mavericks. But we'll find out soon enough here in between the winner of the game. That will be the first game that's happening here in between the home for Minnesota or OKC for games one and two before heading off to Dallas. That will be the next game underway here for, for just a couple days only on Centerpiece. And he will be making this video of being part of the BFDI and MA Sandy Tour. Don't worry, that screen won't be recovered, it won't be covered at that moment, but this one will be taken on stage only, but not the scene in, in every day. If you have already subscribed to Animation Epic and also the other one of Jack and Jellyfee, thank you so much to everyone who has been here. I should suggest you to go watch their channel. The links are down in the description here so you can check it out anywhere if you like. Now for the next substitution on the court, as this will be Wiggins checking in for Gordon with Gordon Hayward as the other players come off the court. With Williams and Joe, here is Hayward. And the Wolves will be making another change off here. Joe for three. Another miss by OKC. Bear Off to Alexander Walker over Joe. Oh, what do you know that? That's another bucket. After Gobert's deep pass. You know, I just don't really say that. I just really can't believe it that you made a deep pass. Are you serious? That's like, what a take. Gobert's adding another rebound. That's number nine of his game. He will give it over to Mike Conley. Here's a setback range. And it's another miss by Minnesota. Just don't take your much time and effort. I mean, just go easy for yourself. Loose the ball. Trying to get up, and it's out of bounds. We're under 30 seconds right now in the 66-50 game. And here's another one to Hayward. Hayward finding Wiggins for three. Triple range, no good. Man, are missing everywhere already. Us. Just not when you just do that. I mean, that's what you can't just lose and play for. You don't have a lot of chance to do that anyway. Don't give anyone else a part of you. Conley trying to switch off for another bucket. And he makes it in! What a shot for Minnesota! Mike Conley! As this fourth bucket range in, they're up to extend it. Just can't let that happen now, because that is where it takes off. Three quarters are down, one more quarter to go. 68 to 50 is the score, and we'll get back to you soon, right after this. All chance for Rudy Gobert, five blocks in the game.
while we have a moment, let's reveal the state promises of the game. Just how playing it is. I mean, that's what you all have to do with the Levi. And that one goes right toward it. The big drive for Goss Reed has to be what their occasional is. You know, playing it like that, I just never seen anyone do it. That is great enough to have. We've come down to the final quarter. Hope you haven't fun with us. And this is where it comes down to this. That's a new group lineup here for the Timberwolves. Here are the responses. Right in between the uh, Oklahoma City. That's uh, Bernie Alexander with Joe. Next, Kendrick Williams again with Jalen Williams. And from back on the outside of it, across his Wiggins. For the other side, we have his Reed. McLaughlin and the point guard. From the, from the spot of it, we have his Jaden McDaniels. And it's Alexander Walker. And finally, Rudy Gobert. The cutover finding Rudy Gobert. Up and it goes in. Great pass for Jordan McLaughlin. That'll be his first assist of the night. Just playing it and you can definitely handle it, but that's all you can definitely count down to make that go in. No man on it. And Williams takes a slam. This one keeps it on coming in. With only 7 on 9 to go. Now, the pass over to get Alexander Walker. Right over now, finding it over again. The pass is broken up. And here's another take. Over to Joe with a shot. And he's fouled. That was Nas Reed in his first per third personal. 13 foul for Minnesota. for the OKC Thunders as Holm, Grant, and Dork checked in for Wiggins and Williams. And the other side we have is the Wolves. Carl Anthony Towns is back on the court, subbing in for Reed, and it's Gobert checked out. The airways, Anthony Edwards. Second free throw is good for Joe. And McLaughlin will try to get it over it again. Back again to McDaniels and went right to the crowd. That deflected and it goes right into Thunderball. Oh, that's going to hurt somebody else already. That is a miscommunication pass. Nobody wants to take over this. That's going to take over with anybody else. And Giddy's checked in for Joe. And Williams. Watch again. Jordan cut. Here's a three for Dort. And it misses again. Jordan McLaughlin with his first rebound. Off again to Edwards. Here's the drive. Take it in. Up and it goes in. Anthony Edwards with another rocket range. He has 19. Barry, just let it be. Anthony Edwards can't let, not let that go out of the way. I really have to tell you now that Edwards, he's been like putting an egg man on a bucket chance. A great shot with the word Alexander. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down, but that's going to take a lot of it to go in. The pass back to McLaughlin. Now he finds it over to get to Reed, and now he gives it over back to McLaughlin. Trying to reset it again to Reed. Five to shoot. Reed on the drive, and the effort lane picks it downtown. Reed with another bucket. Here's Josh Giddy. Block on watching on him. Here's the cut and attack. Josh Giddy missing the number drive. Now it's rolled again to Towns. Towns right out of bounds. Great defense on on Shady Gordix Alexander. And now it turns over to OKC Ball. And you just don't have to like improve anybody like you do. But that hard defensive for Williams, that is just untakeable. Not even just anybody who can try to like beat other other players can do that. That's just like unbelievable take. Oh, what a put back! Holmgren gets another point, he has 12. It's just not what you don't play for. Jed Holmgren tries to let the ball go in and just likes to take it. You know what? Get over it. I guess he, uh, he just had that one trick. I've never seen anybody doing that. The block that fight again to Edwards. And now here's a Carl Anthony Town deep three. Six the triple! That's 16 points for Carl Anthony Towns. They're up ahead by 20. Here's the pass. Dort for 
the two. Up and over, and it's no good. Towns back the airway again to Edwards. Edwards with the finishing drive, and it's up and in. Anthony Edwards, but our bucket. That's 21 points in a game. You really know that? That's what Anthony Edwards has been. I've got a great feeling. The number missed by OKC Funders. Well, you've got to play position right now. They're not even shooting it well enough, and they can't let that one get slow and out of the way. They can't leave that mark out. I mean, you've got to play it like you did. Here's Reed trying to pass over again to McLaughlin. And it's a chance for a McLaughlin shot, and it's rejected by Shane Gordon Alexander. That's his first rejection. Williams up with the fake. Makes it. They're back down by 20. With four minutes to go, it's a Towns, 16 points, by Jalen Williams, 12 points. Looks again to Reed, and a pass over now by it again. Looks it up, and finally McDaniels. Looks it in, with a shot, and drive no good. Holmgren again to door. Looks it in down with a shot, and a drive makes it in again for door. Now he rolls it over, tries to get off to Edwards. Edwards moves it again to McLaughlin. He tries to get over to Reed. Reed with the cutting drive makes another bucket transition. That's eight points for Reed. And it's McDaniels with the assist. Just can't believe it that Dawes is doing again. Wow! He breaks Alexander on Edwards. Outside game for two. And he'll drop it in for another bucket. As it's Shady Gordon Alexander will be assist. 81 to 63 is the score with under three minutes. McDaniels tries to give off to McLaughlin. The cut looking for Edwards for two. And great shot contest here. Edwards with a number two point bucket score. Oh, that's a hard play. I don't know it's going to keep an eye on you, but that trouble make is just nothing but they're going to go with. I mean, that's close enough. I mean, got to keep on going. The two for Williams. That's rolling it out. Edwards back the airway, give it over to Towns. Looks it over to Reed, and the pass over to Towns. Up and goes in. Anthony Towns with 18 points. And it's Reed with the assist. Oh, the crowd really loved Carl Anthony Towns. I was really hoping that he might do this one more than he can. And Conley spins a move and has that finishing drive in. Just under two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Reed trying to give over again to McDaniels. McDaniels gets to Towns. Fade a shot, goes right to McDaniels. Pulls it over. The ball's tipped. Timberwolves will keep the ball alive with just 1.43 to go. Now Gobert and Conley are checked in for Reed and McLaughlin for the starting five group. Rudy Gobert will now hand it over to Conley. Time ticking down. 33. unstoppable. Just point guard has to be all for anybody. Had to be like, what do you know? And shot, number one for Shane Gordon's Alexander makes it in. A lot of comparisons in between the Gordon's Alexander and Conley in the point guard positions, but I think a lot of points happen to be with Anthony Edwards, and I think the other side of it must be Towns. Yeah, I just really like that Towns was playing it. Same thing with Anthony Edwards there too, but you can't live with a wrong with that. And you make another drive. Towns with 20 points. We're nearing down the final minute in the fourth quarter. Giddy trying to have it up, up and look. And the cut, the shot, and it's again with a never deflection. And he'll take it in. You just still have to play for Rudy Gobert. I mean, he has six blocks. That's a crazy defensive effort trying to give it over it. Stipple Tower? What do you have to expect now, fans? Gobert tries to hand it again to McCon to Conley. And now it's Towns. Looks to go again to McDaniels, and Conley tries to give over to Gobert and stolen by Holmgren. Here's Williams, the finishing art, makes a drive with under 30 seconds remaining. 
And I guess that no player in the game has been static. I guess we're going to end it off here in Game 7. Yeah, look at the fan now. I mean, there, a lot of fans are supporting the Wolves. Check this out. This place is lit in Target Center. Pocket 6, 10 seconds. And he will end it off here. That is it for now for the Funders and the last substitute change for the Timberwolves and the Funders. All five five players are checked out and all four players are checked out. Joe Hayward Williams is checked on the court. And for the Wolves, do the same thing. Last possession for the OKC Funders. And he will make a good group to congratulate the those two. 90 to 70 wins the final score. Thunders eliminated the second round. Well, that's what happens now. The Wolves are ready to take on the Mavericks. We have a chance now. We go over to the side court. David Aldridge for the player of the game. David, who do you got? Thanks very much, Mike. Congrats on the win. It looked like you guys stayed with your identity tonight. You think so? Yeah, we want to just play our game. You know, stick to what we do best. Get the ball on the side, score in the paint. Uh, just try to make easy plays. And I think that's what we did, and our rate was just good off of that. You guys are one of the best teams in staying to what you do. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. With me, Ultra Beast, and, of course, OJ, with David Aldridge. This is Terry Cruz, thanking you for watching of the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for joining with us, and see you next time. Have a great night, and so long in Minnesota. All right, Terry, thank you so much. And as now, as always, Minnesota defeats the third seed of the NBA second round of the playoffs. And this time, we are ready to find out when the next part of the game between the Mavericks and the Wolves. Just like you see on a real game, it looks like this is going to happen again. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they've already been playing it for a while now. But I now know, I think there is a race to the finals this time, so let's hope that there is. And hey, there's never ever a choice than that. You've got to play hard. Just make that simple and make it countable. I would love to see what's going on with the Wolves and the Mavericks. It's going to be happening out there. And now let's have a look at the total statistics. 71 field goal range for Minnesota. Then three pointers was 29 and 83 free throws. 12 fast break points for OKC Funders. 64 for Minnesota on the points in the paint. 6 on the second chance points were even up. 24 36 for Minnesota on the bench points and assists. And it was 6 defensive rebounds for the OKC Funders. Then it was 27 defensive effort for Minnesota, the Wolves. 3 steals for the Funders. 6 for the blocks effort of Minnesota Wolves. That goes to Rudy Gobert. An unbelievable moment. And it was two turnovers with nine points off for OKC Funders. Both teams received teams three fouls on each side. Five dunks were performed for OKC Funders with nothing for the Wolves. 23 and 18-18 was the time of possession for the Timberwolves. All right, let's have a look here of how it did. New Balance player of the game will be revealed on the number one spot. But let's go over to the third to the second, guys. All right, thank you so much. Time to see what goes in now. I think it's up to you there, Mr. Son of Ace. You take it over. All right, thank you so much. This time, we're going to start it over. Carl Anthony Towns with 20 points of the game with four rebounds, four assists, only made nine out of 11 field goal range with one three-pointer, and it was out of two in a range with 28 performances. The clean effort is to make the key in it. That's what Carl Anthony Towns did to keep that line a drive. Now on to you with Spoonie for number two. Number two is Anthony Edwards with 23 points, two rebounds, and three assists. 11 out of 12 field goals with one and one three-pointers. And it was 30 performance after. He done it for this better look of unbound cast finished it all. With the finishing of game seven to wrap it up and move on to the Western Conference Finals. And last but not least is Clover, your number one spot. Well, I guess now that the New Balance player in the game I'm going to give a credit over to look at you, because the tall center guard did great. That goes to Rudy Gobert with five blocks in the game.
five blocks, no kidding. With 12 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 out of 8 field goal range, and no worries yet, you won't have to take all of them, and he does. Just 21 before his effort, and he's been doing it. My goodness, what a lucky king. The Wolves denied a shot. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with for the NBA playoffs and 2K Sports of the second round. We can't wait to see you for our next part of the game after the Eastern Conference. Then we will get to the Western Conference Finals to start Game 1 on the other side. If you're tuning in for the NHL, thank you for your patience. We hope they'll be able to keep your eyes on the other side of it soon. So it's going to be very long than we'd expect, but don't worry. We got you covered here. You will never know what's going to happen right now. And hey, just as in between the dot, you'll just enjoy it for the NBI at the finals and also Stanley Cup finals. You'll be able to watch the reel on TV. But at that point, the finals will begin on June 25th. So that will be the first one to take a look for to get this thing started on its way down on the other side. Then for the Stanley Cup finals on the other side, that game will be starting on July 3rd to get right into the other side. So I know it's summertime, but I <laughs> know, but unfortunately for now, but we'll try to like depend, depend on that and you will never know what's gonna come up. So let's hope there is. Thanks for joining with us. Son of Beast along with Witch Spoonie and Clover. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. See you all again for the conference finals for the Western Conference. We are out of here and for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Clover's out of here. Bye bye, everybody. And see you folks next time. Peace. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.